guys, so I just wanted to show you a very quick video of the difference uh, in styles that you can do on Photoshop CC 2018. Um, this one on the right is a watercolour based texture and uh, also painted in watercolour with brush. And this one is just on a normal background texture. So nothing added to it and um, it's painted with a wet brush. Um, so as you can see there's, there's differences. They both started out like this, a simple drawing um, on a blank um, canvas basically. Then on the watercolour one I just simply um, transferred the drawing um, and then I did, I clicked the pencil icon and I drew over the drawing. Then I deleted the drawing from underneath it. So then I came out with these clean, cleaner lines, made it into its own layer and then created a new layer where I added the colour. So if you have a look, um, if I remove this level, this um, level, um, then you can see that all the drawing lines have gone. Uh, add it back in, and they're back again. Um, and this uh, colour, uh, this background as well, is also watercolour. If you check out my other video, uh, which I'll post uh, below, um, it shows you how to do the watercolour background. Now, this one, as I said, is just normal. Um, if you go to File, New, and then if it starts up. Anyway, File, New, um, and, oh, here we go. Starts up. <laughs> um, file, New, and it's just literally a white background. I put it on a 10 by 10 inch uh, 300 pixels by inch and uh, a CMYK colour and then you just click OK I'll click close though and then I did the exact same thing I put the drawing on one layer and I did the colour on the back layer and always put the drawing on top of your colour layer so then if you zoom in, you you can see that um, it does. Oh, I didn't use that brush. I used um, let's have a look. Uh, wet brushes. I just used this this brush here um, called the Ky Kylie's Ink Box Classic Cartoonist. But you can use any really wet brush that you want. Um, and obviously change the size so you can really get into uh, the cracks and the smaller uh, pieces. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Simple to fix though. Uh, and if I zoom out again. So as I was saying, um, make sure you put um, this uh, line drawing always on top of your... Um, uh, your colour uh, so then it looks really neat and tidy and you you have less to clean up with the um, with the eraser uh, tool afterwards um, and I just think it looks really cute but I just wanted to show you the difference between the wet paint um, look which looks more cartoonish than the watercolour. Um, the watercolour looks a bit more, it doesn't look as bright and vibrant, um, but I think it, they, they both have their own personalities, which is uh, where that comes from. The different styles show different personalities. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was only a short one, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.